Ori Georgetown Tech's future is on solid ground. One of the reasons why is its foundation. Find out what it's all about coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at the Myrtle Beach Train Depot right here in the heart of Myrtle Beach. We're focused on the Ori Georgetown Technical College Foundation and we're visiting with the board chairman, Tom Mazur. Good morning, Hi, Tom. Hi, Greg. Nice to see you. I love that tie. Thank Good you. looking at uh, 7 a.m. on a Monday. It was very hard to do. Uh, my wife dressed me this morning. <laughs> Flying out of the house. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Well, thanks for getting over. What about the train depot isn't this place amazing i've never been in here been here 15 years and uh it, this is neat it's gonna this be a nice first time in yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's we really neat hope to get folks out more often of course the city now more or less has control of it and everything yeah. goes through the city the all aboard committee that was instrumental trying to help make sure it was preserved and jack thompson who will be with us on friday of course mm -hmm. later this week uh, yeah who is, I'm sure you've heard that story many times about him stopping the bulldozer right. and sure they didn't get it, but it is special. Yeah, It is very, very special. Nice. Yeah. A lot happening in the foundation right now, yes. isn't it? Yes, quite a bit. Uh, it's very active. The college is growing like crazy. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. Greg Thompson was with us on Friday. Uh -huh. We were filming out at the uh, Harry Hartshorn reading room there at the uh, Elizabeth Maddox Chapin Library right, right next by, door to the foundation, or right right immediately yeah. adjacent, I think. Uh, uh, one of the days that week, uh, I popped into the foundation to see S Sandra Cole, and there mm -hmm. was Buddy Styers. Oh, really? Of okay. course, uh, highlighting many of the things he and the other folks there at the Myrtle Beach Air Base Redevelopment Authority have done in concert with the foundation. Yeah, they have, uh, I believe they surpassed $6 million of, with the college. Is that right? In fact, they just, and we're just announcing that they will. Uh, be giving us well. They did give us a check for seven hundred fifty thousand. That's going in our endowment fund that's um, for the growth of that campus and the Allied Health. So of the Grand Strand campus and right. Allied Health. I know they were instrumental in helping make that happen. Yeah. Yeah. That this big campaign. Let's highlight a couple of big campaigns. Of course, the foundation for viewers who may not be familiar with the HGTC Foundation. Mm -hmm. A little bit about its mission there, Tom. Okay. Uh, the foundation started in 1978 as a separate 501c corporation. It's, it's an arm's length kind of a, a thing with the college. And it started out mainly as a scholarship driven organization to help students uh, fund their college tuition and whatever. And it was specializing in many areas, golf course management, hospitality, tourism. And of course, in those days, uh, they would go out, people who hired those students and try and get funds for scholarships. Well, right. as the college grew and as the, the needs changed a little bit, and, and especially since the lottery funding took over, because the lottery, well, last year it was a, almost $1,000 of the 1400 tuition. I think tuition's gone up a little bit now, and I think right. the funding's coming down a little bit, unfortunately. Oh, boy. Mm. But what it did was change the emphasis from scholarships to helping the college just put up with the growth that they're going through. Right. Now, Another kind of bad thing is that state budgets for two-year institutions have gone down considerably also. Mm. In fact, our college right now, President Wilson's operating on about the 2001 budget with about somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 more students. That's insane. Yeah. That's oh, terrible, is. Tom. That's uh, someone's logic. Mm. That is terrible. Right. Six years later, operating essentially off of those same numbers with substantially more students. Exactly. How mm -hmm. can we do it? Well, the, that's where the foundation came in because mm -hmm. uh, our role changed dramatically to now, yes, still doing uh, scholarships, but now having to help build new programs to mm -hmm. pay for infrastructure, to uh, get staff, to even facilities and, mm. and equipment. And what is also astounding is our state in its great wisdom, does not fund any new programs until the, th the end of the third year. So every new program has to uh, survive on tuition only, which is impossible to do. Absolutely, of course. Mm. Mm. The foundation has really stepped in then to help fill a tremendous gap. Exactly. A lot of gaps. A, a lot. And, uh, for example, the uh, Allied Health 
the old hospital at the air base. Uh, we just finished a, a $5 million campaign there. We were very successful with the hospitals and the doctors in the community. Right. And we raised $5.4 million. Is that right, surpassed the goal right. by almost 10%. That's okay. tremendous. That is tremendous. And they've started construction now. That will open oh, up, yeah. I believe, uh, no later than next fall, they'll be functional. So. Sure. For viewers who haven't been out uh, that way, real easy to find. If they're right. coming in off of 17 business, just take that first left, right. head straight on down. Is that uh, what's that, that left? Uh, oh, Phyllis, I can never. Uh, yeah. no, it's, well, it's uh, Farrow Parkway Farrow, is the new yeah. one, and then the, the college is on Hemlock. Hemlock, of course. Yeah. Forgive me. I shouldn't yeah. have even started, started that <laughs> out. You know, I think about everyone coming in off of. 17 business, their own Faro Parkway, and if they took a first left there, it's the same street the Red Cross is on, right. obviously. Very easy to find the hospital there. Yeah. Just to go by and see the progress yeah. there, particularly for so many of the groups in town that helped chip in right. to make the campaign successful. And of course, you're now on a new campaign. Yes, we are. And that's a, we thought was a $3 million, looks like it's now going to probably be a $4 million mm. campaign. And what that's going to focus on uh, primarily is three programs. The construction management program, which is a fantastic new program to help uh, develop mid-management uh, production or uh, project people to manage all of the construction that's around this area. Right. Um, that's become a major, major employer in this area. So. Uh, they will have a two-year associate degree in right. the construction management. Uh, we still have about 130000 to go. We had a $500,000 uh, $500, goal, and uh, we were very fortunate. The Burroughs and Chapin Company uh, came to us and said, all right, if you raise $250,000, we'll match that with 125000 right. And uh, so they, they put the challenge out and... About three weeks ago, we accepted the check for the 125,000. Fantastic, so, Tom. Yeah. Golly, and you're reaching out. I mean, you know, the foundation and all of its members and other folks that help support the foundation are reaching out to a true cross section of the community. Oh, absolutely. So many folks now interested in the future of Ori Georgetown Technical College and all it's done as the locals' college. Exactly, and you know, all of those programs feed back to the community. Right. I believe something like. 80% of the students, 80 to 85%, come from Horry County, right. and about 90% stay in the community after they uh, graduate. So right, right. It's big. For our viewers in Georgetown County as well, a right. lot of those folks that right. are very interested. And of course, there's a great Georgetown campus, not only Absolutely. Conway, not only the Grand Strand campus where the Spear, uh, the healthcare mm -hmm. facility will be, but of course, the uh, tremendous Georgetown campus down there. And, and there's a strong health element there as well. Yes. There's a whole wing for uh, oh, yeah. allied health there. Yeah. Uh, the, the hospital down there um, has been wonderful with the Duke Foundation. Uh, right. I think that br has brought us well over a million dollars. Is that right? Yeah. I remember visiting at a foundation meeting, checking out the classrooms and seeing some of the right. dedicated instructors there and the students that are placed in some of the nursing programs placed all over right. the state, but even have to come back for classes, and they've got some of the best instructors probably anywhere around. And that's the big problem. Another reason our role has become so important to to hire a, a nurse instructor, for example, you're, with a master's degree, you know, you're talking probably in the vicinity of eighty thousand dollars. Well, right. the other wonderful thing is it's one instructor per seven students. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's why right now in some of our programs, there's uh, the student applies today, they'll be able to get in in 2012. Golly, Tom, is that right? Mm -hmm. That's terrible. Oh, I mean, that's, that's uh, <laughs> well, I guess is. that's both good and bad. Hey, if they get in, they know they can get in, even if they got to wait five years. Right, but yeah. terrible that uh, would it, if the if the school had more funds, would they? That's one of the top priorities mm -hmm. to try to reduce that wait from a five-year wait down to a four, three, two, even make it virtually immediate. Well, and that's one of the reasons I said we we've kind of jumped up in what the demand is because the. Uh, the Spear uh, Education Center is now at capacity before it's fully constructed. Mm. So the college is looking for more land and space over there already to mm. 
supplement the the health programs. So right. Right. It, it's a this you know the growth in this area. If people say that this is not a good marketplace. Um, they're not looking very right. close. They haven't been over to Hard Rock Park. I mean, no. they haven't traveled the uh, the market. It Absolutely. is surely a, a a lot of needs that are not only here now but are going to be coming. Exactly. If a viewer needs to get off to work now or get family out of the house, what's a what's a good number to call? Or is there a website that someone could learn more about the foundation, its activities? Obviously, a little more about the mission sure. and some of the other plans in the for in the future. Sandra Cole is is a director for the foundation, and her number is four seven seven. 2116. Okay, great. And the easiest website is the college one, hgtc.edu. Okay, Very good, simple. Good. And there's a foundation link on, on that. So great. They can also, by the way, you yeah. can donate online. Is that right? Yes. Great, good. That's a secure site. Yes. Yes, it is. And, and we are getting uh, a lot of people doing it that way. Tremendous. So. Folks will use their credit card mm -hmm. or otherwise go online and make donations to the Ori George Santana right. College Foundation. That's tremendous. Right. It's, it's I'm so neat. glad to hear that. And since we're talking that, I, I might as well just keep going on ways you can help us because there's, of course, planned giving and remembering the college uh, in your will and, and other places. I mean, we had a situation. Um, you know the Montrose Absolutely. room in our you know, foundation. Yeah, we, have we a talked board. about it last week. That uh, they had no children here. They were new to the area relatively, and uh, their attorney helping them put their uh, estate together mentioned. They said we like education. We'd like to do something. Mentioned Ori Georgetown uh, Tech, and uh, I think to date we're approaching eight hundred thousand dollars. Right. From that family, yeah. from the couple. That is tremendous. I remember we were there with Bob Gray mm -hmm. last Thursday, Dan Gray's right. brother. Of course, his father, Philip, was the first chairman of the board of the commission of what was, I think, Ori Georgetown in Marion County. Right, yeah, the, the area uh, commission, I think. The area commission back then, and of course, his brother, Dan, who's yeah. instrumental in, on both the foundation board as well as the first district representative on the state right. uh, technical college system. But uh, it was fascinating talking to Bob and about uh, technical education in this area as well as in the state and then thinking about that couple right. that has done so much and that everyone needs to look at ways to try to find a support not to take anything away from Coastal Carolina right. University or Francis Marion or Florence Arlington Tech or other great schools right. but to think about the locals college right. and as Greg Thompson talked about Friday the ability to really reinvest mm -hmm. back in the community and programs right. that stay right here right exactly. right here very right. important what are some of the other things in the future you know we talk about nursing and the right. real needs there that's probably that's on the radar but making up the gap um, when you talk about the dollars going down on the lottery funding that support tuition going up a little bit there's mm -hmm. even a bigger delta there right uh, does the foundation ever step in I know there's also we want to talk in a few minutes about the student emergency fund mm -hmm. but uh, is there anything that can be done about that gap if it's five hundred dollars are there scholarship opportunities right. would they turn to the foundation or are there other oper other vehicles there really are few vehicles right. uh, other than the state funding and tuition the college is pretty well strapped and right. so um, the, the emphasis has really been in, put back on us to, to be the provider of those funds. And we're getting a lot of requests now from individual programs that that need a little boost or need some new equipment, uh, oh, yeah. you know, things are changing. Um, I know that the college is going to, with Greenville Tech, uh, they're bringing an automotive uh, right. segment here to, to the area for auto, auto, auto mechanic technicians, sure, I think it exactly. is. Sure, exactly. Excuse me for missing that but um, that's going to be a whole new element for the college mm -hmm. and I know if you've looked under your hood of your car um, I don't touch anything down there. <laughs> that's so, right. yeah, 